just turn the story unfolds the ink on the paper a world i behold lost in the panels where heroes fly comic books and bruise my alibi ladies and gentlemen welcome to episode five of comics and bruise where we take a dive into the deep history, the deep drunk history of a comic book character every single week. <laughs> and we warmed up pretty good today. Uh, just Abby was about to fall asleep about 20 minutes ago. Yes, I but was. But we loaded her up with another couple of bevies. Uh, one to be named, uh, what's it called? Codename could... Holiday? It was the what? one we just oh. warmed up with. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that one. Uh, by Odd 13 Brewing. It's like 9%. It's, yeah, 9.8%. <laughs> um, no shame. This peasant went to Bevy's and found it on sale for $7 for a four pack. Yeah, it was and great. So. yippee ki -yay, We had three of them and sweet bear wine. They are delicious. Triple hazy IPA. And now we're on to new beers. Um... Wow, I uh, didn't even give Abby an intro here. You can intro Abby before. Well, I'm just then Abby. I'm, then we'll go to beers. Because <laughs> I'm just Abby. But uh, I'm drinking a watermelon cucumber hibiscus sour ale from Good Old Weldworks, Good which old is just every time so solid. Once again, after time and time, it is so good. Uh, with watermelon and cucumber juice and hibiscus flowers, uh, I... I think it's great. It's not like... I, I like that one a lot, so we better remember to switch once we get yes. halfsies. It's an easy going, just a little sour. I love watermelon. I love cucumber. A little hibiscus thrown in. It's, it's so cool fun. how you can just whisper into this new mic. And oh yeah, we're using fun. a new mic, so we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, we didn't tell them that because I just screwed up the entire last 10 minutes of the last one. Yeah. Yeah, so I <laughs> when my pipes get a little too loud, I'm whispering. It's gonna right be now. like Wah! tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips. But yeah, my my giggles might erupt this mic, so <laughs> I'm really we'll sorry if that happens, but um I don't know what to tell you there. Uh that'll be an editing nightmare later because I've been trying to avoid editing the audio as much as possible, but surprise it's happening. Um my beer. My beer. I have the Orange Whip Milkshake IPA from Over Yonder Brewing. Where is that from? This is from Colfax. Evan, it's Golden, Colorado. Oh. I, I didn't know that. Did not really know that either. Huh. Over Yonder. Oh. Oh, I, I, I recognize heard this, this. Logo. I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard of it. I've always wanted to go. And I just never have. Yeah, Golden's a little bit far, but not that far. Not but really. wow, it's on it's Colfax. Like, it's like literally like thirty minutes, not even. Well, shit. But it's it's delightful. It this is pretty this good. Is yeah. Quite 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 glorious. Oh. Mm. So yeah, that's our that's our beers of the episode. Um, Colorado beers. Oh yeah, episode. both of us again. Colorado yeah, beers. It's hard. We just can't venture out apparently. Where's this odd thirteen from? Uh, Let's see if it says Colorado. I'm gonna fuck it. Oh, Denver, Colorado. Seriously? Oh, my God. <laughs> well, this makes some solid beers, I to guess. To all you I'm beer gonna... nerds Sorry. out there, you <laughs> must come to the Mecca, and then you all can come over here and film, mm -hmm. or not film, <laughs> we're not trying to show our faces, <laughs> record an episode of Comics and Brews, because apparently Colorado is thy Mecca of beverages. Or it's just... Distributed. Yeah, We're it's like that, and then randomly, like, Fargo, North Dakota for... Or, I guess, no, Minnesota? Is it Fargo, Minnesota? Oh, Drecker? No, it's like North Dakota. So Fargo, though. Yeah. Which is, is like... Is that North Dakota? I don't know, because it's like on I the border. I swear it's in Dakota. I think it's technically North Dakota. I don't know, it's like on the but border, that, though. That's my number one brewery anyway. that I must go to. I If I go to Drecker, I'm, I might pass away in excitement. Well, we should do that. And I also don't know how to keep those taps clear, because Sweetberry Wine, those chonky... Chunky smoothies. Holy Moses. We had one of those today. That was very good. Yeah, we had two of them. Oh, yeah, two of them, actually. Yeah. Yeah. What was... Oh, we had we had, small. The small. I got the four pack of the small, and it... Oh, those were oh, very my, good. Oh, my goodness. They small, but they delicious. Yeah. But, but anyway. 
<laughs> yeah, anyway, sorry. That was a long beer tangent. But, again, this is the drunk history of a comic book character. Every single week, and today, we got a random one. We actually literally decided this this morning <laughs> as we talked characters through. And once I said this one, Abby kind of shattered pants in excitement. Well, so we, like, recorded Dazzler this week. Wasn't that on Monday or Tuesday? Oh, yeah, we did it late, huh? We did it late because we were so busy this weekend. And we went camping, um, so we didn't have the time to do it like we usually do. Um, oh, yeah, we did it, like, Tuesday. And we're going to Ren Fair, Den- or I guess Colorado's? Denver? Larkspur? I don't know. Yeah, in uh, Larkspur, Colorado, we're going to the Renaissance Fair tomorrow. So I was like, oh, we should do something kind of Renaissance Fair themed. And so we were going through his character book, and yeah, Merlin was the one Whoa, I got... whoa, you didn't say it yet. You just got... Oh, Merlin was... You already said it. No, yeah. I didn't. I didn't say it. Oh. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is the drunk history I thought you already said it. Merlin. Shoot. <laughs> Because, yeah, we're going to Renaissance Fair tomorrow. We're going to dress up like a bunch of dinguses. And, wow, I wish I could have a wizard sleeve on tomorrow because we're getting our Merlin on tonight. <laughs> so, without further ado, welcome to Comics and Brews, episode five. This is episode five. <laughs> five, five. And, uh, yeah, Drunk History of Merlin. Let's go. Oh, also, yeah, he's a man of many names. <laughs> I, don't know what I'm saying, ah, sorry. I always forget how to intro myself, but I always forget yeah. how to read. Merlin, also known as Myriad Murdan, and oh wow, my notes are so good, and a bunch of other names. Best best known as the Sorcerer from Arthurian legends, but he also served as a Sorcerer Supreme. I honestly did not know that until I was today years old. Because Sweet Barry Ryan at Barry Ooh, Barry Oh Juan. my god, we're going to be struggling. It's those my, 9 percenters. I mean, Doctor Strange, obviously. Loki, my favorite Sorcerer Supreme. But did I... I mean, I should have known Merlin, obviously. He's the OG. Kind of makes sense. But, yeah. Played a huge role in the... I guess it's not the cinematic. It's the MU. The Marvel Universe. And, um, yeah. His first appearance... November 1943, and Young Allies number 11. That's a wee bit old. I wasn't even close to the womb. (laughs) Almost 60 years out of the womb. But yeah, he's old. Merlin, what a guy. So yeah, pretty freaking old. (laughs) I think we established that. Um, So Merlin's also a pretty complex character, with abilities and history that are as twisted and mystical as you'd expect from oh, a legendary spicy. sorcerer. Uh, so I guess... Sorcerer Supreme? <laughs> uh, for starters. <laughs> <laughs> so he's super smart. Uh, and he's self-taught in mystical lore. Wow, I think Doctor is... Strange DIY'd it too. I thought he had mentors though. I mean, yeah, I'm sure Merlin did too. I mean, maybe. You can still say self-taught. I guess, but... Even geniuses have their limits. Um, Because obviously when I think of Merlin, I think of some really old dude. I vintage rusty old skin. Yeah, like long beard, like white. I think of like... Gandalf. Yes, exactly. Yes. That's who I think of. But uh, so yeah, in his old age, uh, he's got that limited stamina. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I think of Gandalf the gray, not Gandalf the white. That's Yeah, no, yeah, I agree. Um, But yeah, so... uh, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> basically because he's old he's got limits all right and that's kind of like me and my drinking <laughs> so. god i'm trying to keep my cackle away from this new mic but it's so hard it's just lighting up red Oh my gosh, yeah, Abby had two beers before this episode. And I was, she was like, I'm ready asleep. for bed. We're trying to watch that new show on Apple Plus or whatever. The Lady, the Lady in the Lake. Lake. Yeah. And she's just becoming a corpse. I was like, no, no, girl, we got walking dogs. Anyways, Merlin <laughs> is an old bag is basically what we got from there. But uh, unlike... A powerful a, bag, yeah. right? His powers are just banana lands. Uh... Thanks to his mortal mother drinking holy water and getting blessed by her priest, 
and then becoming a nun to keep <laughs> demonic influences at bay, Merlin turned out pretty decent, or at least powerful. And uh, he can create illusions. Yeah, we're going to get into his powers, I guess. Create illusions, change his shape, oh. raise the dead. Como se dice Jesus Cristo. Uh, and even manipulate energy in various ways. And <laughs> dude can even tear shooting stars from the sky and hurl them at his enemies. That's a perfect, like, after He's Dazzler power. Because what you're going to shoot... A shooting star at someone. I would love to see a Merlin Dazzler battle. Like a shooting star across the midnight sky. Remember, yeah, you're going to see me fly. You ever heard that song? You need to download it. <laughs> I told you, I read the notes good. Oh, my. Uh, so. <laughs> this is going to be really bad. <laughs> oh. So Merlin's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> He's got a lot of powers, actually. That's pretty incredible. Flashy um, powers. He can sh- but he's not just all about the, the flashy powers. His history is shrouded in mystery, contradictions, and intentional misdirection. Uh, yeah, he likes to He's basically games. a magician, he which is what I kind of think of when I think of Merlin. It's kind of magician-y. Yeah, um, sleeve. One of his earliest records comes from... I don't know how to say Better this than. correctly, but Muradin? Muradin? It's like Aladdin, but like not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a young priest from the island of Ruta, oh, next to Avalon. I love Ruta. After a massive volcanic eruption, Muradin became Merlin, changed his name, and Oops. got involved in all sorts of legends, like helping King Arthur? Or U- Uther? Uther? King Uther. King Uther Pendragon's men. Okay. Oh, he moved Stonehenge to Britain, apparently. It's just like... It's not aliens. Not a big it's deal. It's Merlin. He did that? Yeah, That's just pretty pretty cash. Pretty, huh. pretty okay. usual. But yeah, super cash of Merlin to just move some gigantic <clears throat> stones on over to Britain. But um, Ooh, I saw Stonehenge, actually. In what? Person. In real mm-hmm. life? Yeah, I did. Must be nice. It was pretty cool. I'd love to see some big old rocks pretty cool. standing up right. I think aliens did it, but it's fine. No, it was Merlin. We just discussed right. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. real totally, life here. Yeah. This is real life. Um, but yeah. Then there's an, <laughs> his involvement in Arthurian legends. Where he met he <laughs> Oh, my oh, oh man. The Taz. Orange, oh, well, Cut off. that was my moment where my orange whip is halfway, and she slammed the whole watermelon hibiscus. We were, we were going to split it, so we are like, This happened Ooh. last episode where I forgot I to drink the whole thing. <sighs> Sorry. Mm. Oh, well, that's like dessert. But yeah, he gets involved, and he mal- man- manipulated events to make sure Arthur became king. And, oh, here we go. Even embedding Excalibur in stone, classic, y'all been in Disneyland, and declaring that only the rightful king could pull it out. How bizarre. How bizarre. Everyone knows the story. Did you ever watch Sword in the Stone? I did when I was like two months little, old. I like, I know. I'm like, I, came out I the remember womb, I like, oh, having it one. on VHS. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't personally remember the whole thing. I don't remember any of it. I just yeah. know that that was a thing. This is like a thing that's always yeah. been. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure at Disneyland, like, they would let someone pull out well, the sword like a out huge sometimes thing and, like, you win for something. Disney, yeah. Um, but, yeah. And then Merlin, apparently. Wow. I don't know how I didn't know this because I read the recent Knights of X book. And, um, yeah. Let's not forget his romance with Morgan Le Fay, which ended in a six-day magical battle. Love hurts. Especially when it's between two... Sorcerers, only one supreme. So I wonder how that went. <laughs> <laughs> and his powers don't stop there. <laughs> he can time travel too. Well, I'm not surprised. He's Merlin. <laughs> you're right. You're right. He, oh, Gandalf you're couldn't right. travel through time, and yeah. also Merlin's a way more cool. Uh, he can he, he, <laughs> he can cast perfect illusion spells and oh. even seal beings with enchanted amulets. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, within them? Wow, he can put literally like I could put That's a just Abby inside of like seal being. Oh, a yeah. bee plug. Yeah. What? Nothing. Excuse Ow! me. <laughs> 
He's also created <laughs> artifacts like the Ebony Blade. The Ebony and the I don't know what that is, but... Uh, oh, okay. It grants... What? It, it grants... Oh, it grants it to Wielder. <laughs> wielder but only while you're holding it? So only while you're holding the Ebony Blade you can be immortal? Like, what if you just, like, lay down and go to know. bed and you're not immortal anymore? I don't know. Wow. We're gonna have to do some research on the Ebony uh, Blade. But despite all his powers, he does have some limits... Uh, like when he and Brendan... Brendan! Who's Brendan? Brendan! Okay. Couldn't destroy the Darkhold's power. Oh, the Darkhold is Even spicy. the Mighty Merlin has to team up sometimes. Exactly. And speaking of teams, Merlin founded the Captain Britain Corps, a group of superheroes safeguarding the Omniverse. So, if you read the recent X books, I, I guess that was like, dang, that was like 2022 by now, where they had the big battle of swords or whatever... That's where it came back, kind of. Uh, but he's been manipulating events and heroes for centuries. Always working behind the scenes. Um, but his story doesn't end there. Because he's faced foes like Mad Jim Jaspers. Not gonna lie, I have no idea who the shit that is. And the I mean, Fury. These are really old, so I, I feel mean, like, if it was Nick know. Fury, I'd know. But maybe Who's the Fury, Fury is like his great, 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 great grandsister. <laughs> but um, he faked his death and death, death. And Damn. even manipulated his own daughter, Roma, to form. Excalibur. <laughs> yeah. uh, so he's always planning. He's always <laughs> scheming. Guy's always scared. <laughs> even when reality was warped during the House of M events, which I don't really know. Uh, that's, a, that's a series I didn't read, which I honestly really wish I did okay. because I heard it's really good. Uh, Merlin was scheming in the shadows. Oh, and let's man. not forget his involvement in the secret invasion. Oh, man. Where he reached out to Peter Wisdom for help. Oh. And Merlin's story is as endless as his magical abilities. Oh. Well, this is where I am more versed because this takes us into the witch breed. Where it's a lot of, it's a lot of Betsy and Jamie Braddock. Jamie gets pretty dicked in this, though, because, if I remember right, because... <laughs> Yeah, uh, we'll get into that. But when Avalon, Avalon came under the rule of Jamie Braddock and Betsy Braddock was named Captain Britain. Whoa, I'm going to reread that again because that sounded all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy was named Captain Britain, Captain Britain. And Merlin, Mer oh, oh my, my. Gandhi, Merlin began scheming against the presence of the mutants in other worlds. It's get, this is when it gets crazy, because all the X-Books are kind of combining here. New Mutants is involved, the Marauders. This story was awesome. This is like X of Swords time. I love this X-Men time. This was like early Krakoa, too. It was so good. And he saw the mutants of Witchbreed, and he derogatorily referred to them as a direct threat to the traditional order he upheld. Exactly. Oh! Don't yell at me. <laughs> 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 I hope you mess up Merlin's name as much as I did. Merlin nice. orchestrated a war between the former king, Arthur Pendragon, and the new witch breed rulers. This wasn't just a power struggle. It was a clash of ideologies. Ideas. Arthur represented the old ways, while the mutants symbolized a new era of magic and evolution. It sounds like <clears throat> Merlin be a boomer. He'd he be an old <laughs> bag of dicks that no one wanted to cope with no more. They wanted the new new, and he's just sitting on that old skin, but Merlin's manipulations aimed to exploit the fears and prejudices against mutants. I mean, he honestly was a big old dickhead in all these books. I mean, he's like the OG, man. I mean, he's these people kind just of, coming but up in here. I was like reading these X books for the last few years, and all of a sudden Merlin comes back in out of nowhere. I don't know if I wasn't reading. I mean, what the... I was reading. I have the old Excalibur, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just a dingus, but... He rallied support for Arthur and sowed discord amongst the rulers of Avalon. But there was more to it. This war also served as a strategic move against Opal Luna Saturn. Oh yeah, she had her own crazy castle. Man, I she was kind of crazy too. I didn't this whole if if you haven't read the X of Swords, like all the books that connect into this, it's pretty banana lands because almost every X book tied in and it was pretty nuts because they basically battle and if you die you're like actually dead like they uh the mutants obviously had not obviously but 
they have like the hatchery and they had all their mines uploaded to uh like a backup Whoa. basically so like basically if you die they will yeah. rehatch Whoa. you and you will remember like up to before you died basic kind of thing oh. that's kind of where these books are taking place right now that's kind of cool but this was taking place in the X of Swords when uh, basic this battle was basically if you die you're just dead, like you're not you're not come you're not come back. So oh, it's it's getting freaky, it's getting crazy. Okay. Um, but yeah, as the formal Omniversal Guardian Merlin Mer God Merlin is so hard to say. Merlin <laughs> harbored deep resentment towards Saturn, who currently holds the position i don't know what i meant by that but she was basically like the colossus of clout kind of like <laughs> the king of the castle but she was the queen yeah uh, i have a chair you do this you do this la, 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 la. that was her thing and i think of like colossus the colossus the clout what do i think San of Lant. that's what it is the yeah great bambino. I was like, why am i like okay yes that's one of the best i would never have thought of that of all the time so funny all right, so by creating chaos in Avalon and challenging the new order, Merlin sought to undermine Chetrin's Chetrin's authority. Chetrin's authority. Chetrin. That's kind of fun to say. Chetrin. And reclaim his former status. His actions were a testament to his cunning and long-term vision. The war was a means to weaken his enemies and reassert his influence over other world which i don't know what that is um that the other world is like i don't even know how to explain this right now it's like some inception kind of shit oh. but because i think that also tied to it because if the mutants went into other world and they i'm pretty sure i could be wrong tell me if i'm wrong here people but if the mutants went into other world and they died there they also could not be revived like it was a weird Ooh. So it was like a scary time for the X-Men and everything. Because when they're going there, they're basically like going to war. And if they die, like they're just toast. And this is like almost like another dimension? A, that's, yeah. That's I how know. I'd kind of explain it Or like it I think of like, there's some movies that are like, if you dream and you die, you die in real life yeah, or something. Ba basically yeah. like that, yeah. Okay. And uh, this is, I'm pretty sure this is before... Uh, the mutants took over Mars. Like they literally took over the planet itself. I didn't even know that. So um, the Iraqi. Huh. It's like another mutant tribe. I guess. I don't know okay. if you call it a tribe, but yeah. So if they if they died in another world, they basically are toast. Imagine Wolverine rolling up in there. Oh shoot, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, no more Logan. Yeah, right. They'd write that shit back in. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Merlin's schemes just added more complexity and political landscape which no one gives a shit about i mean not a lot of people give a shit about politics but it's just always a nightmare um but that's what was going on in avalon he wants power saturn wants power good old-fashioned duel of yeah i guess politics but with alliances and en enmities constantly shifting in response to its machinations <laughs> God, I read that terribly again. Yeah, you did, but this it's okay. So hard. Taz is feeling it. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, that second nine eight. Do you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Thir oh, 13 <laughs> Brune really got me feeling good. But wow. That was I mean, that that duel, uh I my notes here basically leave it on a cliff. I guess that's just not to spoil it because the X of Swords happens. Merlin and Saturn obviously are getting into it. I don't want to tell you what happens here, but it comes to a tip. It comes to an end. One of them wins. I'll just tell you that. But if you haven't read the 2022 X of Swords, all those books, like this is, it gets crazy. And this is like when Krakoa is basically in its prime. Because if you're an X Men right now, you obviously know what happens. Or happened to Krakoa. I'm honestly still catching up, so I won't tell you that whole spiel. But Merlin has uh, a duel that happens here that you should just read it. You should read it. I don't want to spoil it, so Google it. Find out what happens to Merlin because we gave you the history up until this point. And that's our job. Has Merlin ever been in any Marvel Universe, like, movies? No. 
That's kind of surprising, because I feel like he's a lot, he's like a base. Well, it's kind of been a shit show until I think Wolverine and Deadpool comes out. That's going to be like the one thing that ties all of, because mm-hmm. the X-Men was never part of the MCU until oh. a week from now. It will be. That's so, going to be the first movie. Oh, wow. That, so that'll like spout off a bunch yes. of shit probably, huh? Yeah, like Wolverine's going to be in Secret Wars and everything. Like, they'll finally be Is that connected. based off of comics, or is that just, like, movies being movies? We're going to tie these two together and make our own thing. I think they try to, but they do their own creative twists. I mean, yeah, you'll have but that. But it's based but... off the stories. Like Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, so, I mean, we'll see how they do it, but... Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the... Taz wrote this, and I don't really know what to say about this. So I'm going to let you take that. <laughs> what? I mean, yeah, Merlin's crazy. The storyline's nuts. He has all these crazy battles he goes through. He's kind of a dickhead in the end. Honestly, I hated reading him in his last few books. <laughs> he just he seems like nightmare. a crabby old man. He's he like, was. who are these and youngsters it's like, trespassing on me? <laughs> in this Marvel encyclopedia I have, he looks like this like young buck that's glowing blue. That's not what he was in the book. He looks like a Gandalfy yeah, piece of shit. Yeah, that's kind of what I like. And yeah, it's Gandalf the Grey. But at it's the same awful. time, you have to respect him because he's like the original. Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess. But as far as I, because I never read the old ones, but I only know the new ones. He was a dickhead, and I absolutely hated him. He sucked. Knights of X, number five, uh, read that. If you're going to read anything, read Knights of X, number five. And, um, yeah, that's what I will leave you with. I don't know why you're looking around. There's nothing left there. Okay. Um, if we get to close it out here. Uh, that is the that is the drunk history of Merlin. Uh, I will leave you with, yeah, Knights of X, number five, came out in 2022. That is a key book to read as far as the history of Merlin goes. Um, do you think they would ever consider... So, like, do they do they make specific comics? Like, specific Merlin comics? No. He's just a character within all these, like, different yeah. ones. Okay. Do you think they'd ever just make, like, a Merlin? No. I don't think so either. Unless they brought him into the movie, something crazy, just to get everyone all yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's, at this point, he's such an old character. I can only see, like... But he's not just in comics. Like, isn't he in other weird... Like, yeah, is, he, he's Merlin is, like, yeah. a, like, a legend. All kinds of things. Yeah, I guess that's the same yeah. for Thor. And well, Loki right, and like, all the Norse, Norse gods. gods and things, yeah. So... I think he's... In, kind of in the same boat. But that's crazy them. that he's not as big as that cuz he is he's pretty, pretty much important. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they could. I I mean, I would if I was them. Yeah. But... Well, maybe we'll see some Merlins walking around at Renaissance Fair oh, tomorrow. We will. <laughs> Damn. I'm sure we'll, well next whenever we post this, we'll attach some uh, photos maybe of what we're we are dressing up a little bit. Um, so we can just post... Abby's gonna look like some fern gully looking lady. <laughs> I love the wild fern gully, first of all. So, I'm pretty sure that's what you're gonna look like tomorrow. Pretty much, yeah. pretty much. And Taz is going as like medieval Loki, so yeah. I'm wearing shorts, it's supposed to be hot, but I also might be wearing a what's it? not a parka. A parka. Uh, what are those called? I don't know what you want to call that. Like a. Oh yeah, I have my Sorcerer Supreme though. I have the Eye of Agamotto, so that's what I'm being sure. You do. And my horns, but yeah, it's gonna be way too hot. But it also might storm on us. I think us, it's so... actually only supposed to be seventy five, so it's actually oh, not well, too bad. I lied. Just kidding. But... <laughs> the drunk history of weather while we're at it, because I, I apparently know. don't know shit. But anyway, so yeah, next week, uh, we'll probably be posting this with some Renaissance photos. Um, Jess Abby's gonna post them herself. No, I'm not. <laughs> Come on. But anyway. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you should let us know about any characters you would like to hear about. Uh, Cliff, my uh, oh! coworker, did listen and thank you, and he gave me a what he has in his collection, kind of some character stuff. So maybe we'll go something. Cliff, we'll go give us something. a character. Yeah, if you're listening, character. let me know. Yeah. But, um, and if you listen this far, we have a surprise for you. 
Oh, yeah. Which we'll probably give you before you even listen to this, but... So I guess you don't even have to listen this far to get it, but... Uh, yeah, so I guess the usual. We posted this earlier. If you subscribe to the channel, we'll send you a free sticker pack. If you're in the U.S. Sorry if you're in Europe or Sweden or something uh, crazy. Uh, isn't that... Yeah, probably. <laughs> I can't do geography right now. I don't know why I'm even throwing these things out there. But if you're in the U.S., you will get a free sticker pack if you subscribe. Um, I'm pretty sure I can do this to the end of 2024, and I don't think we're going to get a million subscribers. Probably get like four. Weirdly, yeah. we got like 15 today, which is pretty neat. But, um, yeah, just send me your deets. Uh, if you did subscribe and you haven't gotten your sticker pack yet or you haven't gotten confirmation, you need it because I need your shipping details. So you can send your address, wherever you want me to send the stickers to, to comicsbrews at gmail.com. C-O-M-I-C-S-B-R-E-W-S at gmail.com. Or just shoot us a DM on our Instagram at comics underscore brews and um, shoot us those details and I'll get you a sticker pack. We have two new ones coming in this week. Uh, for anyone who's a Pokemon person, we got the Ghostly Gose with a nice little Gengar going on in there. And we just got some new logo ones coming in, which are pretty sweet because I think I only had one of those. But yeah. You'll get the Loki, you'll get the Captain America, the holographic little shiny stickers. But um, yeah, so subscribe, listen to this, listen to more. I have no idea what character we're going to do next week, but mm, it's Abby's I won't pick. be here next week. Oh, shit. So you guys will get either a guest or just Taz. <laughs> I'm not doing this by myself, so if I can't get Brandon, if you're listening to this, you have to do it. Uh, because I guarantee you, Garrett's not going to do the drunk history of Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> um, but yeah, if my asshole best friend would do this with me, we will do a Star Wars character next week. Because I'm not doing this by myself, but I will try to peer pressure him to doing it. And, uh, nice. I mean, he loves to get drunk. I don't know why he wouldn't want to do this. <laughs> but yeah, so it could be Vader, could be, uh, qui Jin. Or I think you should do. Um, I don't know. If we have any Star Wars people in in here who want to suggest a character, that'd be pretty cool. My brother's a big Star Wars fan. Oh, Shout yeah. out to Brett. You should let Taz know. Yeah, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> that'd be neat. I heard he's got some. I guess real life. That's Serious crazy. History. But yeah, I, Brandon knows all the crazy. I don't. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know much Star Wars stuff. So if I have to do the drunk history of Star Wars. That will be awesome, especially if I'm actually banged up. Whoo, child. <laughs> Lightsabers be flying. But that is the drunk history of Merlin. <laughs> we did it. Thank we you. We did it. Comics of Bruce, episode five, Merlin. Hiya. Just turn the story unfolds. It ink on the paper. A world I behold. Lost in the panels where heroes fly. Comic books and bruise my alibi